welcome back to my YouTube channel Math and Spanish Magic Academy. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. So today we're going to review simplify algebra expressions by combining like terms. So here I have an expression. Remember expressions are terms and we don't have an equal sign which that refers to an equation. So let's take a look at this. And so whenever we have to simplify we have to take a look at the terms. So we have one term, which is 3x, the second term, 5x, and the third term is a constant. That means that it doesn't have a variable. Variable, remember, that are the letters. In this case, our variables are x and x. Coefficients are 3 and 5, okay? So we're going to simplify. Now for us to simplify, they need to have, the terms need to have the same variable, okay? Remember, same variable and same exponent. Okay, so let's take a look at the term 3x, okay? 3x, the variable is x, the exponent is 1, but you're never going to see it written, okay? Now let's take a look at 5x. 5x, they have the same variable, right, which is the letter, and they have the same exponent, but you never write the exponent 1. So these are like terms, okay? The 3x and the 5x, they are like terms. Why? Because they have the same variable, which is x, and they have the same exponent. Now, the 2 is not, I cannot combine them, because the 2 is just a constant. It doesn't have the same variable. So I'm going to simplify. I can simplify the 2x and the 5x, so I add them, 3 plus 5, 8, and then I leave the same variable, which is x, okay? And then, which is the other term? Well, plus 2. I cannot simplify both of them because the 8x has a const has a variable that has an exponent 1, and the 2 is a constant. And that's it. We cannot simplify it more. Okay, so that's the first example. Now we're going to complete another example here. This one is going to have more terms, okay? So let's take a look at this one. So this one is going to be 7y squared minus 3y squared plus 2y minus 1. So let's take a look at this one. This one has four terms, right? One is 7y squared, the variable is y, the exponent is 2, and the coefficient is 7. Then we have negative 3y squared. Then we have the third term, 2y. Remember the 2y has an exponent 1, but we never write it, okay? And then we have a constant, negative 1, okay? Then we're going to take a look at which terms, okay, have the same variable and exponent in order for us to simplify them. Remember, we need to simplify this. So the ones that have the same exponent, in variable is 7y squared and the 3, negative 3 y squared. They have the same variable, which is y and the exponent y squared. Now, let's take a look at 2y. 2y, there's no other similar terms like y, right? So this is the only one, okay? And do we have another constant? Nope, right? So this one is going to stay on its own. Okay, so let's simplify now. So 7 minus 3, remember we're subtracting this, so it's going to be 4, and then you leave the same variable and exponent, and then plus 2y, I don't have another term to simplify with the y, and the negative 1, I don't have another exponent, another constant. And that's it. I cannot simplify these three terms because the first term it has a squared as an exponent, the second term to y has an exponent 1, and the third one is a constant, and that's it. Okay, so we finished our second example. Now we're going to do another one that involves more terms. So let's take a look at this one. Let's do 6a cubed plus 2a minus 4a cubed plus 5a plus 7. Okay, now and whenever you're simplify, you have to order, 
okay, your exponents from the highest to the lowest, okay? So let's take a look at what we have here. We have five terms, and let's take a look at which ones have the same variable and exponent. So we have this one, a cubed, then this one negative four a cubed. Those are going, we can simplify those two. And let's take a look at which ones have just a raised to the first power, two a and five a. And then we just have one constant, right? Which is the seven. So let's simplify first. Remember, we start from the highest exponent to the lowest. So let's take a look at this one. We simplify 6a cubed minus 4a cubed. So 6 minus 4 is 2, right? And then leave the same variable and exponent. There you go. So I simplify the a cubes. Now we're going to simplify the a. So 2 plus 5 is 7a. And then I just leave the constant, which my constant is just plus seven, and that's it. I already solved this example. Okay, I can now simplify more because this one has the first term has a cubed, the three is an exponent, the second one has a one, and the third one is a constant, and that's it. So today we learned how to simplify expressions and like terms. Uh, thank you so much for being here. Make sure you subscribe, like, like and hit the notification bell and if you have any content that you would like to learn math spanish or even english make sure you write some comments or just text me thank you and have a great day